George Harvey was my mentor, and I knew George, first met George when I was a youngster. I was fishing a stretch of Spring Creek in central Pennsylvania. It's called the Sawmill Stretch. And I was fishing a snelled wet fly, and the loop broke. And I didn't know how to fix it. So I went to this gentleman that was standing there fishing along the stream, and I said, sir, can you help me with this? Can, I, can you help me get this back on my leader, this fly? And he says, son, I says, I can't. But he says, that gentleman up there fishing, that's George Harvey, and I'll bet he'll be able to help you. So I went up, and I said, sir, can you help me with this? Get this fly back on the leader, and George had just released a trout. He was catching trout after trout. Uh, there was a hatch, probably sulfur hatch. And so uh, he stopped and took the time for me and with me uh, to tie the fly back on the leader. And uh, that was one of my early meetings with George. Uh, I had seen George before but did not recognize him really and, and to, to really know who he was because we both fished Spring Creek. And uh, Spring Creek was our home waters. And he was on the stream a lot, and, and I was on the stream, you know, uh, as much as I could be. And so, uh, but then later on in, in life, uh, through my uh, um, high school years, uh, I would go to his house, uh, bum, uh, borrow, beg, maybe uh, some hooks. Uh, so once in a while, he would say, now, uh, try this fly, Joe and I think you'll have success with it. Uh, and so we, in time, over, over the years, developed a, a wonderful relationship. And then finally, uh, when I came out of the Navy and uh, entered Penn State University, uh, he was teaching the course, and uh, I took the course, naturally, and rather than uh, just taking the course, I, I ended up uh, kind of assisting George uh, due to the fact that uh, I was a, a better tire than 90% of the students. And he said, you, you know, you know these things. You know these steps. Uh, you, you've you gone through this before with me. And so uh, you can help the beginners. So uh, we've had a wonderful relationship. And then um, when I went into teaching, uh, I set up the first uh, uh, course, I think, in the, in the Pennsylvania High School. Uh, it was a Bald Eagle area high school. And, uh, and George always had some input. Uh, I, I, now this is the way I think I would do it, or uh, give me a little advice from time to time. And so uh, we had the, the, it was part of the uh, uh, physical education course at Bald Eagle area. Uh, we taught casting in the, in the gym class. Uh, then I would take them across the road uh, over on the Bald Eagle Creek for that was their, their uh, lab work, you might say. And uh, so that was a, a wonderful experience for me. And then when um, George was about ready to retire, um, he brought me in. That was in 1970. And so... Uh, he um, had me prepared uh, years, um, fishing day and night, giving me all the insights to it. Yeah. My tenure at Penn State, uh, following George, now George taught uh, approximately 36,000 students in his uh, time at Penn State. Um, he also uh, taught uh, um, classes throughout the state and, and I think 68 different cities in Pennsylvania. But when I was uh, teaching the class, um, it was so popular that um, I was teaching maybe five sections and still turning away uh, maybe 100 students per section. Um, we were supposed to take 25 uh, students in a, in a class. I always reserved um, um, two two spots, uh, I would take 27 because there were always kids, graduating seniors, that uh, couldn't get in. 
And so for those, I would try to make a spot so that they could finally get the course after four years at Penn State. So it was a, a very popular course, and as it still is today. Over the many years, uh, I've had a, a chance to, to fish with a lot of wonderful people. And I did have a, a chance to fish with President uh, Jimmy Carter, who was not only a, a fine, uh, upstanding man, but uh, he had a, a real drive uh, to learn as much about fly fishing as he possibly could. Um, so we did go on the stream together, and I gave him a, a little lesson on fishing the nymph. Uh, he was a wonderful student, a wonderful man, and it was uh, one of the most memorable days on the stream in my life. And one of the things that he did um, comment upon was the fact that when working nymphs underwater, he was catching maybe bigger fish. And uh, I was very pleased with his uh, success. I was pleased with his his uh, ability to adapt and, and work uh, with uh, a nymphing, uh, good line control. And uh, it was a most memorable time for me because uh, he was such a gentleman and, uh, and such a fine student. Um, his wife, Roslyn, uh, George had worked with her uh, and both of them, Jimmy and Rosalind, uh, relative to the slack leader cast and uh, really getting uh, superb floats with uh, the dry fly. And uh, there was one occasion uh, on Spruce Creek where Rosalind stood in one place and took 23 trout on the trico because she had such an uh, excellent slack leader cast. The leader was constructed properly and uh, she uh, outslicked a lot of fish that day. So um, they were they were both uh, uh, fine fly fishers and just wonderful people. <laughs>